Hi everyone, and here's our devotional for Saturday, November 24th, 2018. And this is just called Thank You, Lord, and it was an email that I got from Devotions Daily, which is a pretty popular thing. I mean, you could probably look it up. I know that on Alexa you can hear um, the devotion for the day also, and you can get it by email, and I'm sure there are other ways. Maybe they even have an app. I ought to look at that and see. Yeah. Anyway, here we go with um, today's devotional. I think it's just called Thank You, Lord. Philippians 4, 6. Thank you, Lord. When you pray, how much of your prayer is spent praising and thanking God? And how much is spent making requests? What's wrong with having too little gratitude in your prayers? Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Philippians 4, 6. We should take advantage of every opportunity we get to say thank you to God in prayer. That's good advice whether we're feeling incredibly happy or incredibly down. If we're happy, our joy will be multiplied by sharing our gratitude with the one who made it possible. If we're down, we'll feel better when we focus on the good things God is doing in our life. Too often, our prayers, even during our family devotions, sound like a fast food order. (laughs) I'd like good grades for my math test, a successful surgery for my grandmother, and a way to make $250 before spring break. Amen! (laughs) The problem with that approach is that it's one-sided. Prayer should be a conversation, a way of exercising and celebrating relationship with God. Constant asking does not make for a good relationship. If we're serious about having a relationship with God, a good rule of thumb is to begin our prayers with praise and thanksgiving. That way, if we run out of time, we will have gotten to the important relationship building part. God will take care of our needs and honor our requests. He proves that every day. So, will we honor Him with our thanks? Prayer for today. Dear God, thank you for our family and for this time to come together in devotion. Forgive us for the times we forget to tell you how much we appreciate what you've done. Please help us remember your word, your work in our lives. Amen. Your turn. What are you thankful for today? Take a moment and tell God about it. We would love to hear from you. Please, um, I'm... going forward because oh yeah I want to read what the, the this book the book that this came from is on Bookshare I found it today and I was so excited it's called I just put in the word once dash a dash day once a day once a day at the table family devotional Zonderman, Zondervan it's by Zondervan on Bookshare but yes that book is on there and I really liked this devotional so that's why I wanted to share it with us um We've already talked about many, many things that I'm thankful for. Let's see if I can think of another one here. Thankful for... You know what? I haven't really mentioned it in detail. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for good parents who raised us. You know, a dad who provided for us. A mom who taught us about Jesus. Um, my sisters and you know the closeness that we always had growing up and the fun things that we did I'm thankful for my family God really gave me a really good family and I'm thankful for my husband as I mentioned the other day so I will quit rambling because you've heard enough of that (laughs) so may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow